The lesson for today's video is so make mustard gas while at work. You'll be fired. A bunch of you guys requested yeah, this that, story that here, sense. so I thought today we today we just sit back, relax, and take a look at this whole situation. Guys. Oh, okay. I was fired. Fired, babes. And you may be asking, why'd you get fired? I got fired because I mixed fabulous and bleach. What? Did you do that because i didn't know i'm african so what i thought was right away i feel like i gotta give her the benefit of that if she didn't know better wouldn't that mean there was a lack of training there so if she was told to clean something and she was given cleaning products and she mixed cleaning products and created mustard gas doesn't that say there was a lack of training there i feel like large retail so. stores shouldn't have um, both pine sole and bleach right beside each other so people could accidentally create mustard gas or chlorine gas or whatever it is. Wait, let's see. Fabuloso and bleach. Fabuloso will release a chlorine gas when it's mixed with bleach. This Ooh. becomes toxic and should not be mixed. These two cleaning products do not work together. The chemical release can be lethal to your lungs and a major damaging eye irritant. Great. That's awesome. <laughs> How does no. this accidentally happen at work? So I feel like right Right away, wow, that was a very stupid thing to do. Her employer is also at fault here for having both of those available for her to clean with. Because I'm assuming she's not going out and buying the cleaning products that she's going to be cleaning with. Is chlorine... Huh. I pulled up the whole, is chlorine gas the same thing as mustard gas? And I'm getting a whole bunch of like World War One and World War II articles. It's not really giving me a definitive answer. So if you know the answer, let me know in the comments down not. below. But either way, chlorine gas isn't something that you want in your workplace, let alone in an area where customers are walking around. You know, you... Did you... I brought donuts and... could mix anything with anything. Like, it, don't, it doesn't do nothing. Apparently... It... Did you know that um, Fabuloso in bleach makes um, chlorine gas? Yes. That's why I never mix them. Isn't that crazy? This girl got fired for mixing it at Walmart. Well, duh. Do you think you that it's because of that. lack of training? Maybe. Because she didn't know? Do you think that Walmart could possibly be at fault for this? Do you think that they... No, because that's kind of like a common sense thing. They teach you that way, like, like. Maybe she didn't know that there you're was. You're not supposed to mix chemicals when you clean. If you're going to use something, use it. If you're not, then don't mix it with other things. Yeah, maybe she didn't know what uh, Fabuloso had in it. Because she says she blames it on her being African, coming from Africa. And she didn't know the products. I think even in Africa, those things make the same glasses. So well, I think yeah, we of course they that. make the same glasses, but they prob she probably didn't have Fabuloso there. You know what I mean? Fabuloso is a Mexican USA yet, product. Like you're not supposed to mix bleach with anything, but water and laundry soap sometimes when you're doing your wipes, <laughs> <laughs> very sparingly. Like I, I made. Don't know. I think that already I'm not a big fan of bleach and I'm already very, very scared of it and I only use it to soak egg dishes or the bleach of caramel time. cups. Bleach makes me cough. But I put like literally a, co a cap, like a little bleach cap of bleach in my whole dishwater and let them soak mm. and the smell will go away. But it's so diluted that it won't smell like bleach, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. I don't know. I feel like... I don't know if that excuses that, though. I could understand people being from other countries and just being ignorant to the fact that that happens because they don't have that product. Okay. Yeah, if you're gonna mix something, kind of check it out before or ask. Yeah, because here you have the internet. I mean, even if you don't speak English, you can set your phone up to whatever language you do speak. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you should be able to ask, like, does this product and this product go together? Can they be mixed? Is it dangerous because they're chemicals? You know, yeah, you should check. Having a common sense to Google it. Yeah, where customers are walking around. You know, you can mix anything with anything. Like, it, don't, it doesn't do nothing. Apparently, it made mustard gas. And um, she was, <laughs> so she, that's why she called me out there. She was like, um, but I have no idea. I was just trying to clean. But she was like, 
yeah, do you know why I called you in here? I was like, oh, um, why? She's like, you know the incident I'm regarding February 17th? I was like, oh, where I missed five low times. She's like, yeah, so we just... I'm not listening to you. What? I said your mom was shocked at how much we paid for the soda. Oh. That's it. She said $6.99 each? Oh, my God. Yeah, it's crazy. It is. that we're just going to terminate you because we reached out to our legal team and they said in our best interest it would be best that we terminate um any relationship with you and i was like oh okay that's yeah, interesting work for that and she's like no i'm not gonna give it to you i was like well can i have it for my own record no i'm not gonna give it to you and she's like okay and now i'll walk you out now and i was like no it's fine i can i can walk on my own she's like no i'm gonna walk you out per target policy and i was like i don't work here no more I'm gonna walk out on my own. You don't need to walk me. And I knew she couldn't catch me. See, my son, weaving through the aisles. I was like, doo, 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 doo. I was just running through them. I was just, I ran through the clothes. I ran through the blankets. I, I yeah. And I left the store. You're not gonna try to embarrass me and give me the walk of shame. Brandon, out of here. You, Brandon. Did she run to Walmart? Captain. Lily. That's so weird. That was, I, I... I guess I get it, like not wanting to get the walk of shame, but running, darting out, spinning around, and doing some barrel rolls inside a, a target's a little weird too. AP Cam, third <laughs> She's just calling out everyone at her work now. And yeah, I feel okay. I feel liberated, um, because that job was genuinely depressing me. Like it was coming up in my therapy sessions. That's why I know it wasn't good for me. But babes, if your job depresses you, quit before they fire you. So that video was a lot. Um, <laughs> what? I'm still trying to... So normally it's like a TikToker does something incredibly stupid for a TikTok trend or a challenge. I was expecting this to be like some stupid TikTok trend that an employee decided to do at work. Today, that was actually not the case though. There was a lot of things that confused me there though. Why she was given those two products to begin with? To clean? That's an interesting decision on Target's part. Then she wasn't given paperwork when she was fired. I don't know what state she lives in, so that could or could not be illegal. I'm not sure. I've never been employed in the US before, only in Norway. And in Norway, I was a janitor and superintendent, and I was told what to clean with. I'm wondering here why hmm. she wasn't told what to clean with. Yeah, <laughs> oh, weird. by the way, if you mix those two things, um, you're going to get fired. I don't know, a little heads up like that would be helpful, you would think. Yeah, but would she's claiming she made mustard gas. Let's see. How dangerous is mustard gas? Mustard gas is an extremely dangerous poison gas and contains with liquid exposure to high vapor concentrations that can cause severe eye burns and permanent eye damage. Yeah, mustard gas can cause severe skin awful. burns and blisters. Breathing mustard gas can irritate the lungs, causing coughing and or shortness of breath. Yeah, that, that's not something you want to accidentally make at the workplace. <laughs> How? She did uh, follow up with a couple TikToks. They were definitely looking for a reason because you were just trying to clean like you'd willingly poison yourself with mustard gas. No, let's get into how she walked me up in there. I'm going to set I'm going to set the mood for you. So she's sitting like yeah, this. Now, I, I'm a person who switches characters, so she's sitting like this. Yeah, so um, did he tell you not to mix the cleaning products and and you decided to do it? Uh, yeah, um, he told me after I had already done it. So he told you. Oh, okay, interesting. But see, we're, we're going purely off of her side of the story here. We don't know if she was told beforehand or not, but still, I mean, <laughs> oh man. I mean, hey, thankfully it wasn't too bad because I'm assuming if it did get really bad and uh, the mustard gas spread throughout the area and got a bunch of customers sick, that would be a viral news article. TikToker creates mustard gas, <laughs> injures X amount of people. We probably would have heard of that by now. So I'm assuming yeah, they no. got this under control fairly quickly. He told you not to mix them and you still did it, right? He told me afterwards. But yes, he told me not to mix them, but that was after I already did it. But but you still did it. We have the right to terminate you. And I'm just sitting there like, bro, this is not what I think it is. Like, I was like, oh, you got it. You got it, babes. You got it. Like, I don't, I don't care enough to argue with you because I do not like this job. Okay. I guess the best outcome happened then. Guys, the name dropping resulted in them feeling extremely offended, apparently. I honestly don't care because I'm sure <laughs> their identities 
I never Base, shared this social media accounts. I never said, it. hey guys. Oh man. Go. I don't know. I, I I get it. I get it. But you gotta you gotta know what you're doing. You can't be. You got the internet. You've got so much things available. You you should know not to do that. Report them. I never shared what store I work at. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure this is something a future employer would love, but hey, we're, we're in this generation where everything just gets posted on TikTok. So uh, update on being fired. It's updating fired. The update is I'm so sorry. I love, I love the support, but I can't say too much on the internet for legal purposes. Uh oh. But I will literally let you guys know ASAP when I can speak again. And, um, hmm. uh -oh. for real, thank y'all. Cause I really did not care. Like I was just cracking jokes. Cause I really hated working there. Like I, I, I can't express it enough. Like if your job is coming up in your therapy sessions, stop working there. This woman, and she did me a favor at the same time. She did me a favor. You know what I mean? I mean, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I, <laughs> So she, did she actually dig herself into a hole by making all of these TikToks? I think OnlyFans is in her future. Yeah, I, I see the writing on the wall. It's, it's it's coming up. I guarantee you she's going to be an OnlyFans model. Especially calling out the people by names who she worked with. I don't know, because now that she's saying she can't talk about it because of legal reasons, that's not a good sign. <laughs> While TikTok is often a non-stop source of stupidity, thankfully it's also a non-stop source of entertainment because this is a fairly entertaining situation. I was expecting it's it to be a really it. stupid trend that started this or Dance some sort of it. challenge that started this whole thing. Instead, um, we have a little bit of a, a split decision where uh, I'm a little bit in the middle here because she should have known better, but her job should have also told her about that. So here we are. What do you guys think? But I don't know, I think they're gonna start the target, um, the target chlorine gas challenge now that you said that. <laughs> we'll see where it goes. She did make a quick reaction to her going viral because of this whole story. Okay. Uh-oh, wait, 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 this mother- I mean, hey, that's what happens when you're at the heart of an entertaining story. But I mean, hey, at least she didn't run a red light, get T-boned, and drive her car in the middle of a podcast studio that was set up at a cafe, because that happened here. You should check that video, and I'll see you guys yeah, in crazy. the next video. Peace. It was, uh, it was crazy. They made a big old deal about it and made it cringe, and it was kind of got really cringy after, after the accident.